What is going on guys? It is obviously, based on this video, Masters of Dirt Weekend. No, but for real. At uh, a little bit early in the week, we haven't gone up to the track yet. We are down here in Punta Gorda, Florida at Sandlot. Out here with uh, Ronnie DeBall. What up? Ronnie D. That's me. He is a um, two-stroke guy. Oh yeah. Tell him what you got at home. I got an 03 KX 250. It's pretty <laughs> sick. It looks clean. You did a great job with it. I'm gonna put in one more quick moto here before we get this Masters of the Dirt adventure started. Ronnie's gonna do one last session and then we will get this thing rolling. Funny how things change in about a span of a year Guess I didn't see it coming, now there's blessings in here When I was younger saying prayers to the big man upstairs I told him if he walked on water, then I know I'm secure I might have 99 problems, but my faith ain't one And if I always try to solve them, what is faith anyway? I'll be okay Okay <laughs> Hands up if you feel me now If you know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about. Ain't no need to try to figure well, God's already working now Hold tight, don't be worried now Be cool if it takes a while Ain't no need to try to figure out What well, God's already working now Working out in a million ways Wiped a million tears from my face The road ain't always easy But I never lost my faith That's why I gotta say Two hands up, shout out to my God, that's my guy for life Never done me wrong When I feel like I've had all I could take Like I'm about to break, he's the one I call Hands up, if you feel me now If you know what I'm talking about If you know what I'm talking about You need to try to figure out God's already working now Already working. Hang tight, hang tight, hang tight Hold on, hold on Ain't no one if it takes a while Before we jump into the mains, I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk a little bit about what we've been doing on the cars so far. Tricky track, because you're balancing high grip and then stability through bumps. So it was a very challenging weekend trying to figure it out. 
in two wheel. I really like the VRT pistons. You guys know I've been running them for a while. It was a matter of finding the right oil. So this weekend I have the game changers, 1.6s up front, 1.7s in the rear, and I ended on 25 weight oil up front and 22 and a half weight oil in the rear. That felt really good. Comparatively, if I had to say it in like normal terms, it feels like 35, 32 if you were running like the kit pistons. So other than that, nothing really special with the car. It's been great all weekend. Four wheel was very interesting. Um, I put the carbon chassis on it. This is the first time I've been running the carbon chassis. Initial thoughts are the car feels like it has more response overall, but I didn't sacrifice any of that rotation in the mid corner that we really like with the 22X4. So car feels really good. Um, I did put the Avid chassis braces on there. The front one's a little bit thicker, the rear one's a little bit thinner, and it felt pretty good. Um, Ronnie, he gave me a really good suggestion. I was playing with shock oils all day. I finally got the front end to feel right, but the rear end, I thought it was okay, but then he was watching it go around the track and he said, Ryan, you had too much dampening. So what I had done is I went to 42 and a half up front, 37 and a half in the rear, and I went ahead and kept 42 and a half up front the same, but then I dropped the rear to 32 and a half, actually. So a bit weird, but the reasoning there is that there's so many bumps in the fast sections that I kind of felt like if the car could hold the rear end down a little bit better, it just gave me an interesting level of stability. Could be right, could be wrong, but it feels right for me. Short course, I don't really know what you want me to say. Those things are very interesting. This thing has the RC Life low rider kit in it, still running it, trying to figure it out. I've never really tried to find a setup for this truck, but um, things that helped this weekend were wide rear pivot all the way up to get the truck out of the track and lengthening the rear link um, as far as I can on the outer hub. Uh, that seemed to calm it down. It still wants a traction roll, but that's the best I could get it to feel. I ran slicks all day in qualifying and practice and they were okay, so I thought. I glued the front sidewall and the front tire to keep it from traction rolling, but um, I ended up going to treads because of Charlie Jimenez. He went out there, hot lapped me, he's running a short course too, and he said, yeah dude, treads are where it's at. So putting a little bit of tread on the tire made the truck easier to drive. So getting ready for the main, hope it's gonna be good, and um, just hoping for the best. Hope my car's finished the whole 10 minutes. We'll see how it goes. Ronnie, uh, give us a quick rundown. What'd you do to the cars this weekend to get them ready for the mains? Uh, yeah, so four wheel, uh, been pretty, uh, pretty close to my normal setup uh, this whole time, but um, last weekend I was running at Hobby Action and I uh, was messing with some stuff and I found that this weekend um, the diff heights were, was a really big change, uh, really big improvement. Um, raising those diffs really seemed to keep the car low and uh, especially under acceleration and through the high speed corners and uh, really helped manage the bumps a lot better. Uh, so that was probably the biggest change for four wheel. Um, two wheel drive, uh, that one's been, like we were talking about, it's been the, the biggest, uh, we've been making big gains throughout the whole weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, made a spring change in the rear, we went to, made the car longer, uh, went to a longer rear arm, and uh, it was all kind of in an effort to make the car more stable and, and easier to drive over the high speed bumpy sections, which have, you know, been increasing in grip every time we go out there, it seems like. So the two-wheel drive is in a good place now, I'd say. I think I'm pretty comfortable with it. I can use the wheel without having to second guess myself. Um, and then moving on to truck. Truck's pretty, pretty much standard. Um, we normally don't mess with anything, um, but the one thing I did mess with, and we had discussed it earlier, was the um, the steering stop uh, that we never normally touch at all. Uh, messing with that, with the truck tires being so big and so uh, uh, kind of erratic sometimes with uh, trying to steer in smoothly, uh, that made a really big difference, and I was able to gain some real comfort with the wheel. So those are the main changes I made so far. Uh, not huge changes, but definitely uh, fine tuning it for this particular track. Nice. Okay, and where are you starting for your mains? Uh, I'll be starting P8 and four wheel. Uh, P9 and two wheel got the bump. Nice. And then truck, I'm starting P6. Nice, okay. And oh. for me in two wheel, I am P8, P6 in four wheel and second in short course. So, hoping for some clean starts and some good mains.
Good running with you, dude. Too bad. That one was a little aggressive. Nah, uh, ah. Yeah, I mean, you, you put it in there, it's like, oh, yeah. he made it. <laughs> wasn't planning on it. No. Good job. Good run. Thanks. Scotty. Thanks. Scotty. The thing is, just a few seconds away from 40K, so when you get home, click the subscribe All button, right. Two twenty to go. Two twenty to go. Top down to 
going oh is it on yeah, yeah hang on one sec one sec Sorry. one sec one sec yes. all right zach hey. the yellow machines yeah tlr crew yes how was your first masters of dirt experience it was fantastic man fantastic yeah really fantastic what two thoughts on what happened this weekend uh well my first thought is i uh i couldn't be any happier with who I chose to come to this race with, Ryan and Ron Duvall are some of the best pals I could have asked for. Oh, thank and you. Uh, the second is uh, make sure your expectations are realistic at a, as a as a new racer. You know, Ooh. don't 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 get carried away with thinking you need to be just as fast as everyone else in there. They've got years and years of experience compared to your one or two years. Just right. stay just stay happy that you're even in it and that you found out about it. Don't get too carried away with trying to be the fastest guy in there. Sure. Just, just, uh, just have fun. Hey, that's what I, guys. that's what I got, got to take away from it. Zach, you did awesome. I know it's a big, uh, intimidating event, and I was just really proud to see you do it, finish it. You completed your races, and that in and of itself is a huge accomplishment, whether you think so or not. But, dude, I don't know if you have a fist available, but thank you for coming. I uh, hope to see you again next year. Absolutely, buddy. All right, man. <laughs> a thought. A thought? Yeah. Don't crash. Well. Because when you crash, you don't do good. That's, wow. Yeah. Sage wisdom from Hunter King. Yeah, that's, that pretty much sums up my weekend, like, to a T. Okay, don't crash. Yeah, don't crash. Solid. Thank you for that advice. <laughs> Ronnie, thoughts? End of the weekend? Yep. Wrapped it up here. Um... P6. Yep, a couple P6s. I guess that's <laughs> all I was good for this weekend, but uh, kind of best of the rest type uh, type finish. But yeah, we're going to make our own trophies. Best of the rest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, was a, it was a solid weekend, I'd say, for sure. Um, had some really good solid moments where I was felt like I was you know competing and then uh, some other not so solid. But, um, yeah, I'd say it was a really solid weekend. Learned a lot about the cars, you know, improved my driving quite a bit, and then... Uh, you know, would have liked to compete towards the front a little bit more, but uh, you know, this is what I what I had for this weekend. So, um, it's all weekend. But you suck. I know. Oh, that's why. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Ronnie's been a solid teammate for the this entire weekend. It was really fun. I had a blast. Um, Ronnie, thank you for being roomy slash co driver slash don't go anywhere um, slash. I don't know. It's fun. It's a good weekend. It's yeah. better than last year. Yes, better than last year. Even though we didn't collect more hardware necessarily, it was a, it was a better weekend. Last year didn't deserve the hardware we got. Yeah. Oh, you actually got hardware I last year. I posted a fifth last year. Oh, geez. Okay. But this All right. year was a lot more stacked. That that's something to be noted. So. True. Everybody showed up this year, so making the mains that was a big accomplishment. But um, Ronnie, thank you. Yep. Next year, next time. We'll see him then.